Hello my friends and welcome to a slice and a piece of cake. If you're brand new to my channel, welcome, bienvenue. I hope you stay and consider subscribing to my channel. My friends, I have an American labor haul to share with you. So my friends, let's just dive right in. I'm going to show you all the items that I picked up from Portland, Oregon. Let's start with Target. I love the Target Bullseye Playground. And um, I picked up this monogram letter for a dollar. So this is a K as in a slice and a piece of K, my friend. So again, one dollar. Christmas has hit the Target Bullseye Playground, my friend. If you watched my Michael's clearance haul, I lied, my friend. In that video, I said no more. Mm -mm, not gonna buy any more. Mm -mm, nope. And here I am. I could not resist these gorgeous, gorgeous Christmas decor holiday ornament. Look at this, my friend. This was a dollar. Is that not love it I know my friends I'm actually thinking I'm gonna I'm thinking about starting another segment on my channel yeah you gotta stay tuned um, is this just absolutely not gorgeous Look at this, my friend. This was $3. You have the snowballs, fresh cut trees, and the sleigh bells. Does that not just get you in the spirit? Oh my gosh, this is absolutely gorgeous. For a dollar each, this is actually cheaper than the decor at the Dollar Tree. And this is so nice, my friend. Absolutely gorgeous. There are a couple other varieties, but I picked this one. Okay. Save the best for last. Ready? Oh, take a look at that, my friend. Is that not gorgeous or what? This was $5, my friend. I absolutely love it. I love to bake. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely gorgeous, my friend. I think they had a couple of other varieties, but I think this is the one that's going to sell out. So darn cute. Did I need any of this? No, but I had to have it. Oh my gosh. I know, my friends. I know. Terrible, terrible. I need to stop. All right, so those were the items that I picked up from Target. Then I headed to the Dollar Tree. I lost the receipt. I only picked up two items, my friend. I picked up a can of Kingsford baked beans. I'm not sure if I picked this up already, but anyways, doesn't hurt to have uh, more canned goods in the pantry just in case, you know. And then I picked up this Natural Bright Skin Serum by Beauty Guru. Now, I picked up the two other ones previously. The, uh, that was the under eye serum and the, I think the moisture, the facial moisturizer serum. And, okay, I believe it was one of the housewives that uh, went on Instagram and was raving about this product. Apparently it's like all natural. So I thought for $1.25, I would try that. So the beans were $1.25. Everything at the Dollar Tree is $1.25 in America. All right, next stop, Safeway. You know I got to hit Safeway for cheese, my friend. So I picked up this uh, brick of Sargento. This is the Fiesta, Fiesta Pepper Jack, and I believe this is... This was a great deal. This was seven ounces. And 
It was a special, I think a Safeway for You special was a limit of two for $1.77. But I also got a coupon or a, a Safeway for You um, personalized deal. If you bought any size block of cheese from Sargento, you got a dollar off. So this ended up being 77 cents, my friend. 77 cents um so the other package i picked up was the sargento this is the uh shredded parmesan so this was a uh, dollar 77. what else did i pick up at safeway oh i picked this marut marut Mar Mar i can't say it marukin chin uh Instant noodles. This was on sale for 59 cents. You know, this is absolutely not healthy for you, but sometimes, you know, you just want a little something to warm up your belly. And uh, who doesn't like these noodles anyway? So on sale for 59 cents, my friend. Can you guess where I went next in Portland? Yeah, you got that right. The grocery outlet. I love the grocery outlet. So let me just show you the um dairy items so i can put it back in the fridge my friends so i bought another one of these borsan cooking creams oh my gosh this is so good with pasta like absolutely amazing we don't have this at home um so this was a dollar 99 love this i'm sure we'll get it at home one day but if you see this absolutely delicious with pasta pasta chicken mushroom on oh yum i'm starving um cheese so i picked up this cracker barrel gouda cheese so this was a dollar 99 and then i picked up this craft oh i picked up the craft jalapeno hot so this was a dollar 99 and I said I wasn't going to buy any more yogurt because I have so much yogurt at home, but I could not resist. My friends, this is the Tillamook Stump Town. Coffee, what does this say? Cold brew coffee flavor. Does that not sound interesting? Oh, I cannot wait to taste this for Manger Monday. So my friends, let me put all these dairy items back in the fridge and let's carry on with the haul i also picked up one of the philadelphia bagel chips and uh, cream cheese dip i think this was 59 cents Alrighty, i picked up now i bought this already i haven't tried it but uh when i bought this originally it was 99 cents and now it was two for a dollar. So this is the Del Monte. This is the vegetable bowl. So this is the Southwest style corn. So I just thought it would be a good little snack to have. Two for a dollar. How can you say no to that? 50 cents, right, my friends? Okay. What else did I pick up at the grocery outlet? My favorite store of all times. I picked up this Heinz 57. Uh, this is the... What are they calling this? Culinary Crunch. Chili, pep chili Pepper Crunch. So that was $1.99. I picked up... Go, girl! So this one is the Key Lime and Ginger. So I picked up another one before. I think it was Raspberry Lemonade. So this was $0.50. Cents. I thought, why not? This was 99 cent, my friends. These are the luxury wafers. So this is a product of Indonesia for 99 cents. I think that's a great deal, don't you? I picked up two of those. Okay, my friends. This is probably, yes, it is bad for you, my friends. But these were four for a dollar, my friends. 25 cents. So this is the Pebbles Shake Up. Um, it's a sweet and salty cereal snack mix. So you have the salted pretzel bits as well as the, I think the birthday cake pebbles. 
So for 25 cents, I think this might be expired, but yeah, I think it just expired September, but I'm not going to kill you, my friends, you know, for 25 cents. Yeah. Why not? That's my good little snack. Probably not the healthiest snack, but for 25 cents, why not? All right. This was interesting. This is Uplift. This is a prebiotic puff. So sea salt and apple cider vinegar, my friends. This is made in Canada. So this was 99 cents at the grocery outlet. So yeah, I can't wait to try that for Monge Monday. Um, what else did I pick up? Okay, my friend, I saw this instant. Now that's the brand uh, for instant pot, um, the instant board. They have a whole line of, of products now. It started with the instant pot, but I think well, they have the air fryers, they have kettles. I don't know what else they have, but I saw this little uh, perforated crisping pan. So this was five ninety nine. Um, so it's just compared to sixteen ninety nine everywhere else. So for five ninety nine, um, yeah, I thought it would be perfect because it says uh, you can use it in your air fryer. So that's what I was thinking. I would be using this for. I love my air fryer. Um, and in fact, my instant, um, my air fryer is the instant vortex. So yeah, for $5.99, I thought, why not? If you're paying $16.99 everywhere else, that's a great deal, I think. Now this was 75% off. So this was like $1.25 and it's just, uh, the mini pineapple lights. Yeah. So that is what I picked up at the grocery outlet. Um, so now I'm just going to show you the items that I picked up from uh, Seattle. Just a couple of items from H Mart. So I picked up this uh, kitchen utensil. They're calling this a lacquered digging stick. So this was $3.99. Now, there's the Korean uh, living and gift store called ABC, and they have a smaller version of this for, I think, $3.99. So, I got the gigantic version of this for $3.99 US, and I have no idea what this is, but this was on sale for $0.88. Cents. It's called Choco Cheese Boy or something like that. What was it called? Orion Choco Boy Cheese. I have no idea what it is, but we're going to be eating it for Monger Monday. It doesn't really tell you anything. Look at the label. It just, it just says Choco Boy Cheese and nothing else. So I have, I'm thinking this is a cracker or something like that, but we shall see. This was 88 cents. All right. Picked up some items, not very many items, from Uwajiyama. Don't ask me why I bought this, but I picked up this package of the No Foods of Hawaii. This is the Loco Moco. I've never had that, but I've seen it on some cooking shows, and I'm like, oh, I'd like to have that. So this is just basically like a brown gravy mix. Hawaiian style. This was $1.99. I don't know. Just wandering around the store. I'm like, oh, that seems interesting. Let me put that in the basket. So I picked up this Pocky Almond Crunch. This was on sale for 99 cents. I picked up this Okay, this is French. Café et Leite au lait. So this is like uh, milk coffee tea, milk tea coffee flavor. Anyways, this was $1.39 US. Then I picked up this eight servings of the miso soup, instant miso soup. I think this would be nice to have. It's getting chilly. Uh, nice to just keep in your 
work bag in case you want to have something, you know, to warm your belly. So this was on sale for $2.99. And my friends, that is all I bought from Portland and Seattle. Um, if you like this video, my friends, if you if you could click the uh, thumbs up button below. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I hope you consider joining my team and supporting me on my YouTube journey. My friends, have a safe long weekend. Happy Thanksgiving. We will see you for Monday Monday and for Thirstyology Thursday. Take care, my friends. Adiento.